What's up everyone? Today we're going to be reacting to Can Roaches Lay Eggs in Your Brain by Brave Wilderness. Um, honestly, I hate cockroaches. Like, like those things are hideous. But, whatever. Let's just dive right into it. Wow, their legs are sharp. What? Why? 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 What? Ugh. I know he's doing it for educational purposes, but still, I would never do that. And that thing was in his ear. Hi, I'm Coyote Peterson, and as we all know, I put myself in some pretty crazy scenarios uh, yeah, to help educate definitely. you about our planet's most misunderstood animals. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, we produced an episode titled, I Put My Head Into a Box of Spiders. Uh -huh. now, the purpose of this was to help those of you who were afraid of spiders get over your arachnophobia. Today we're going to take a look at a different fear, cat's aridophobia, which what? we didn't know is the fear of cockroaches. Oh. <laughs> so to help with this experiment, we've built a little thing that I like to call the roach table. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the roach table. Now today's experiment speaks for itself. It's my head inside of a plastic box that we're going to fill with 500. Roaches. 500? But this experiment is a little bit different because it's not just me today. Let me introduce you to my good friend, Mike Easton. A longtime friend of mine who is an expert when it comes to reptiles and amphibians. But he, believe it or not, is afraid of roaches. And truly, <laughs> I mean truly suffers from cats of So today, we're going to test out exposure therapy. Now, there may be the chance we get Mike to ultimately hold on to a cockroach. We may even be able to get him inside of the helmet, if we're lucky. But at the very least, exposure therapy is going to help him, hopefully, one day overcome his fear of these, for the most part, harmless creatures. Mike, are you ready for the experiment to begin? Not really. No? No. You want to just change spots real quick? <laughs> yeah, you love, I'm not ready. But I want nothing to do with this. <sighs> okay, so the first thing that we're going to introduce to the helmet is 10 Madagascar hissing cockroaches, which, as you can guess from their name, come from the island of Madagascar. Now my associate, Dr. Al Deboa, is going to add these creepy crawly insects on top of my head. Coyote, are you ready? I think I'm as ready as I'm going to get, but let me ask Mike. Mike These things are, you are huge. I guess hard to watch this. Yeah, this is like a worst case scenario for you, isn't it? Away. Now, can you tell everybody out there watching right now, what would it be like for you to be trapped inside of this helmet? What would you be doing at this moment? I couldn't imagine freaking myself out. in that position. If I was, I'd be, I'd be freaking out. Yeah. Like, you would just be in a complete state of frozen. I'd actually probably, be pass, I'd probably pass out. You would pass out. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't even yeah, think I... about doing what you're about to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Mike, if you're <clears> ready, <throat> let's count down and add some roaches. Three... Two, let the cat aribia phobia, let the cat aridia night, let the cat aridia phobia nightmare. <laughs> you can't begin. even say it. Three, two, let the cat aribia, cat aridia phobia. Cat aridia phobia nightmare. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> Mike, you want to count us down? No thanks. It's worth asking. All right, here we go. Three, two. One, let the roach nightmare begin. Oh my gosh, that is a really strange feeling. Wow, their legs are sharp. Oh yeah, they're definitely sharp. Yikes. Oh, and the hissing sound. Oh, my ear definitely is digging in. Oh gosh, it feels so weird. Ah, it is chewing on the edge of my ear. Wow, that is extremely uncomfortable. But their legs allow them to walk up surfaces, even as smooth as glass. You can see we've got one who's huh. uh, just about to escape. You got your grab. Yep. Okay, it's out. It's out of the container. You guys know that? Cool. It's free. Is one escaping, Mike? Are yeah, you getting nervous? Been, no, yeah. I don't. Just watching them move makes my skin crawl. So the fact that one has gotten out of the helmet really makes your skin crawl. It makes it a little closer to me, which I don't like. No one seems to care. Mike, you want to uh, come over and put it back in the helmet for me? Yeah, dude, sure. Not a problem. 
My goal today would just be to get Mike to hold on to one cockroach. If we could just get that far, it's going to be a big day. I mean, the fact that he's even here watching this experiment is a really good sign. Exposure oh, therapy God. is the number one way to start getting over your phobia of anything in life, whether it's an insect, an arachnid, or even something like a clown, which I kind of feel like a clown inside of this box. A bunch of roaches crawling around in my head. Well, 10 hissing cockroaches is definitely a creepy feeling, but I think it's time to up the ante. What do you think, Mike? I think regardless of my answer, you're going to do it anyway, so go ahead. <laughs> Mario, let's add 25 more roaches. Now this... <sighs> Damn it. Home is where the holidays happen. Ray Moore and Flanagan. Now this species is called the dubia roach, and these will make up the majority of our roach nightmare today. Oh, 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 oh God. Oh, those are fast. Oh, that is, oh, yeah. that is a whole nother level. A okay, whole nother level. Now there's one getting out again, Mario. Oh my gosh. Wow. So like, those things uh, won't fight like each other? Seen one roach, you've seen them all, but believe it or not, and Mike, I bet you didn't know this, there are about 4,600 species of roaches that inhabit our planet. And they can be found on pretty much every single continent. All right, we've got another daily special here. Uh, it's about 25. Ready? Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, okay. Yikes. Now I'm beginning to know what it feels like to have been on Fear Factor. And Mike, here's another little tidbit that you probably didn't know. At one point in time, Joe Rogan actually what? ate a hissing cockroach what? as a part of the series. How about that, Mike? You think you could eat a cockroach? There's not a dollar amount that would convince me to, to eat a roach. That's gross. <laughs> yeah. Roach is in the helmet. Roach is outside of the helmet. Mario, let's just flood the helmet with roaches. I think I'm ready at this point. No. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh gosh, that's so gross. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so weird. Oh, so like the different good. species of cockroaches, they just, they're just <laughs> accepting the fact that they level. live with each other? They're not fighting wow, each other or wow, anything? Wow, 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 okay, this is... Oh god, it's in his chills. ear. Dude, there's one in your ear, I think it's gonna make it to your brain. Oh. Actually, that's one of the things that people fear the most, is that roaches will come and lay eggs oh inside gosh. of their ears. That is a complete misnomer. It is definitely not going to happen. Really? It smells horrible inside of this right now. Just so you guys know, the helmet is really beginning to stink. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Why is this happening? Mike, as you probably know, the point where most people encounter cockroaches is at night scurrying around their kitchen. The reason people are so afraid of them is because they are so incredibly fast. Mm -hmm. In fact, based on their size and leg length, they are one of the fastest terrestrial animals on the planet. How does that one feel in your ear? Uh, you know, I, I don't even really notice it that much anymore. Is it in my it's ear? It's in your ear. Yeah, no, it is, it is in my ear. I thought it was in my ear. Not exactly the most comfortable. It's made scenario. its home there. It's really grossing me out. More roaches? Let's add no. another hundred and see what happens. <sighs> uh. It'd be great if you could give me a warning before that happens. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. A nuclear radiation? Like, they can survive that? Huh. That's good to know. Mike, technically, almost all roach species are capable of flying. Oh, awesome. Wow. But why aren't the they? The smell on the inside of this I guess box those right aren't. now is not pleasant. <laughs> that I can tell you with certainty. The sound of all of those little legs crawling on top of each other and scraping at the glass of the helmet is the weirdest noise. I don't even know how to explain it. It just makes your whole body squirm. Ready for more? Mike? No. Yeah. 
Yeah, Mike's excited. <laughs> All right, guys, more roaches. Let me know when, when so I can close my eyes. Now. Is that enough time? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? This is what I chose to do okay. today. At Watch point, someone just, just put their face in a box with 500 the roaches. And as you can see, they're not eating me alive. You can see that they're actually more interested in getting away from the front of my face, and that's primarily because I'm breathing out carbon dioxide. They don't want anything to do with that, and they're actually all migrating towards the back of the helmet. And it's pretty interesting. So it goes to show you that roaches actually want nothing to do with you if you're a human. But Mike, at this point, what do you think? Is this really as bad as you thought it was going to turn out to be? I would say it's not quite as bad as I thought it would be, but this doesn't make me any less fearful of these creepy crawlies. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta tell you, Mike, I'm at least proud of you for going through the exposure therapy today of me getting inside of the roach table and having 500 of these creepy crawlies put on top of my head. Like I said earlier, guys, exposure therapy is definitely the best way to overcome some of your phobias. Start by just witnessing something visually, and if you're brave enough, work your Yeah, sure. Let me just jump off a building real quick. <laughs> We're up from there by eventually interacting with whatever yeah, right. that fearsome thing might be. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Uh, Mari, I think I'm ready to come out of the roach table. Oh, is that it? No, oh, didn't mean to do that. No, they're still... Are all the roaches gone? <laughs> oh, okay. Guess that's it. Okay, that'll do it for this reaction, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, so uh, yeah, later.